hello guys welcome back in this react.js video tutorial we are gonna learn how we can upload a file with the react.js so in this video we will upload a file from the front end and save it with the php in the uh, in a folder but we will discuss the code only the react.js code and understand the react.js code only because uh, in this video we are not going to talk about the uh, back end uh, but i just make a small code so that we can just upload the image and uh, we can see that is it really going to save or no so let's get start now so first of all uh, all right so first of all uh, we need a input file type type equal to file and name you can put whatever you want so I'm going to put the name file all right and that's it all right just make a own change function uh, it's the function will call on the own change event and the function name whatever you want to put like just make the same name change whatever you want to put that it's not a issue so just pass the data from here to this function like e all right so now make a function here so let's see is it uh, on change all right so I have to make this dot on change and now make a on change function here all right so just take the data from here like e so let's take a variable name like file or files whatever you want okay, so just store the uh, image information here e dot target dot files all right so now just console this data for now and we will proceed soon so mm, data file let's check it is is this code working or not for now So just try it. yes this code is code is working we got the information in the console so let's continue with the another uh, code again so all right so now we need a file reader so what is exactly do the file reader this is the uh, we can say that a class of uh, a JavaScript which will be read the data from uh, our memory we can say that up from our computer and save it temporarily so let's take it uh, reader mm -hmm. all right and right here new file reader all right and after that we have to uh, start the reading of this function so like here reader dot read as data URL that means it will start the uh, it will start the file reading so our file will be placed on the zeroth array all right so this is also fine so now we we have to check that is it file is loaded or not so if you want to uh, go with the deep with, with this uh, class you can watch uh, in the uh, mozilla firefox uh, official website so here you can see that what what is file uh, file reading is going to do and the all operations are, are here you can see that the file readers or everything is here so let's back to the tutorial Oops. 
Alright, so now we save it. Uh, so now we need to check that is this file is loaded or not. Check is ran. Uh, reader dot on load. It will continuously check that if your file is to load, whenever uh, your file is loaded, it handle the event and do the specific operation that we have to do. You can pass the parameter here with uh, any keyword. Oops. All right. So now uh, we have to uh, we have to just hit the API here with the. Uh, data so where we will got the data so i am going to show you that so image data so for got the image data you have to e dot target dot result all right so let's see it once again so data should be in the uh, base 64 format so let's check it once again so you can see that we got the data here so, and now we have to just send this data to the uh, uh, to the server side so now let's uh, uh, basically I am using the Axios API so if you are not familiar with the Axios API you can use the fetch API or whatever library you are going to use so, but I refer that the uh, use the Xos API because here we don't need to handle the JSON data and all. So I already installed this and I'm going to continue with this. And there is a no panic if you don't want to use the uh, Xos, you can use the fetch data, uh, fetch uh, API. This is the official of, uh, API of the JavaScript. So let's get started. So first of all, uh, I'm going to take const url where i have to hit and my url is here all right so this is my url and after that i need uh, one more const file uh, for the data uh, i like to put the name form data here and take the data from here so i we have to put these things inside the reader all right so now just put the file and use the e dot target dot result that's it that's my bad all right so now we got the data in the variable also so now data is we have the ui line both thing now we just need to return take the post function of the exhaust api uh, exhaust api which is a post function for post request so just put the two parameter here first parameter is url and second parameter is the form data all right and now you can use dot then and take the response mm, i think capital response is a keyword use a small one all right so just console here console dot one result comma response so let's check it once again is it uh, fine code so what we did in this we just uh, create the uh, input type file here on the own change function we made a function here on change name and we call it and here uh, we take the file reader to read the data with the read as a data url we start the reading the data and the reader dot onload it will check that if data is loaded or not if the data is loaded 
the it will perform the internal function that we can uh, write the inside the code here so i can remove this line here so after that we need just uh, uh, we need just a url so you can see that and after that we need a form data here we will save the uh, data which is coming from the file reader so this is a kind of uh, this is the base64 format and after that we just have to pass the data to the api so now let's see so the file will become here uh, in this storage folder and I just write a small code in the Laravel so that uh, I just put a small code in the base64 I convert in the uh, normal form and store with the test image theme dot png so that's it because I'm not going to make the full full functionality here so that's why I just write the very small code and very simple storage because I, we just want to check that is it going to upload or not so just check the file and try to update and we got the result here so go to the file and you can see that we got the test.3.png so I uh, just deleted file and just change the name here uh, like my video.png alright so I just refresh it once again uh, oh we don't need to refresh it actually but I just refresh it so we got the result once again and check the folder now so you can see that we got the image once again here so this is a wallpaper of my favorite seasons uh, Spartacus actually I really like this and I take a screenshot of this thing. so thanks guys thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel and if you have any kind of problem with this uh, you can ask me in the comment box my uh, Facebook page link is given on the um, description box my gettable account is also given in the description bo box so you can ask me anywhere whatever you want to see so thanks guys thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe our channel and like this video and please give your valuable suggestions also thanks guys